Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Just a really quick video tonight. A lot of people who have been watching the DCS Liberation videos on the channel have, uh, especially the latest ones, the release candidate nine of version two, have been asking, look, how do we get a hold of uh, version two? Because it's not exactly straightforward. It, it's not hard, it's just, it's not obvious to, to many people. And I, and I get that. Uh, the reason why is because on the ED forums, the the official ED forums, which you can see in front of you here, um, if you go to missions and campaigns, there's this post here, all modules, etc., etc., liberation dynamic campaign. And this is the original launch of it back from 2018 by Shudwoop. Um, the latest version is buried in these, um, in the, the 67 pages here. Now, I haven't found the specific one. I was kind of signposted uh, to it um, on, a, on a previous video. Now, you've got two options. One is um, you can troll through the 67 pages and try and find COPA's uh, release, which is really uh, version two and the latest um, release candidate, which is nine. Or um, you can head down to the description below uh, in this video description, and uh, I will provide a link to Copa's uh, GitHub page. Now, for those that don't, don't know, GitHub is a, a code repository and code versioning system that allow um, teams, but also you know anybody to, to share um, code uh, applications that they've created. Um, it's very popular in the software world. Um, and so you can see Copa's DCS Liberation here. Again, there's the URL, but I am going to put a link in the description below. Now, um, I will put a direct link to Release Candidate 9. The, the reason why I think a lot of people are struggling is because if you look at this page, it's not exactly obvious where you go to download the version. These files here are actually code. That's the source code that Copa has written to make this work. And in fact, if you go over to code, you can download the zip, but that's gonna be this code, right? And that's not exactly what you need. What you need is the release, um, the release version. Now to find the release version, there's, um, there's again, I'll, I'll provide a direct link to the, re to the release, um, release candidate nine. But if you find yourself on this page, the easy way to find it is to go down to the readme this is the readme file here. And then you click on getting started. And this will take you to the wiki page. So GitHub has a, a wiki feature. And if you look, if you go down to installation, well, number one, here's all the instructions on, on how to um, set things up. So I would very much recommend that you go through that. The second, there's, there's several pages here. The second thing it does though, is it gives you a direct um, URL link to the releases. So if I click on that, in fact, I'll open it in a new window, then you can see 2.0 release candidate nine there. So if I click there, it's gonna take me here. Now you don't want the source code, either in a tarball or in a zip. You want this one here, DCS liberation release candidate nine dot zip. So click on that. I'm just gonna download it to my desktop. Now I already have this installed, so running anyways. There's not much in terms of installation. It's more con kind of configuration, but let this finish downloading. You can see it downloading here. I'm gonna minimize this and you'll see my download coming up here. There it is. So that's the zip file. Now I have it extracted there. That's what I'm using to, to actually run my campaign. So to run this, and to, sorry, to, to get this set up, all you do is you extract this. I use 7-zip. Um, so I will go extract here. And then there's the installation. DCS Liberation 2.0 Release Candidate 9. I say installation. It's not really installation. It's just flat files. So if you double click there, you'll get, there it is, liberation main.exe. Setting it up is really easy. Again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through that. It just basically all you have to do is point it towards your installation directory, whether that's official beta or the um, stable branch, and then that's it. It will kind of take care of everything else, including editing um, editing um, the right um, Lua files and that sort of thing. You don't need to kind of go through that. Although I I have discovered recently that if you do update. Um, DCS world, what, either the open beta or the um, stable branch, you have to um, 
edit the Lua files, the mission, con the, I think they're called mission config.lua. Hold on, I'll tell you. Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, I would very strongly recommend you get Notepad++. It is amazing. So you can see mission scripting.lua, which is in DCS World Open Beta for me, scripts, mission scripting.lua. And you have to just comment out using two hyphens in front of sanitized modules, this one and this one. So basically lines 16 and 17. So you comment those out, save it, and then um, the uh, Liberation 2.0 should work. Uh, like I said, in the first time that you run it, you don't need to do that. It's just the second time, or well, I say the second time. It's if you update DCS World or DCS World Open Beta, whichever version you're using, uh, you might need to um, to just uh, um, edit those files and save them again. Right, that's it. Um, so nice and easy, not particularly complex. I'm going to get rid of those before I confuse myself later. Uh, not particularly complex, so just a little video to help those of you who are struggling to figure out where to get this. By the way, quick shortcut, um, if you just go to Copa DCS Liberation, and the same with any GitHub um, setup, it, you just there's the project name. If you just type forward slash releases, you'll get to the releases, right? And there's all the releases here. I'd very strongly recommend you grab Release Candidate 9 because it's the latest version. That's it for tonight's videos, folks. Um, hope everybody's um, healthy these days. Um, stay happy, look after each other, and we'll see you next time. Samurai 1-1 is RTB.